Now the first thing you need to do is to film your gunshot sequence. Don't forget to mime the kickback of the gun as it fires because this will all help to sell the effect to your audience. Having got your footage, load it up into your video editor, in this case Windows Movie Maker. Run the sequence up to the point in the movie where the gun is fired. And pause it. Now using the shuttle buttons, find the point immediately before the kickback reaction. And there it is. Now leaving the cursor where it is, split the clip into two. And again, without removing the cursor, take a screenshot and save it to your desktop. I'm saving mine here as a JPEG pictures image. Now minimize your video editor and fire up your photo editing software. Now here I'm using paint.net which is a completely free program and if you would like to download a copy yourself then I put a link in the video description for you to do so. OK. Now open your screenshot. And zoom it slightly larger to make working on the gun a bit easier. We are now going to make a gun flare. So select the paintbrush tool and choose a nice gun flarey type of yellow as your colour. And I'll probably bump up the brush size to about 5. Then just paint your gun flare onto the end of your gun. Now it will come out this way, so a little bit there. Now you don't have to be Leonardo da Vinci to do this. A rough flarey shape will do. And there we are. I'm also adding a bit of white to make the flare look a bit hotter in the middle. Now when you have a reasonable flare painted, choose the lasso select tool and use it to select the flare as well as a bit of space around it. When your selection is complete, go to the effects tab and choose blurs. And from there select Gaussian Blur. By using the slider you can now make the flare look nice and fuzzy. That looks good. Now we mustn't forget that the flare will also light up its surroundings. So there is just one more adjustment to make before we are finished. So having clicked anywhere on the picture to deselect the flare, select Adjustments and then Brighten contrast and use the slider there to bump up the brightness a couple of notches. In this case about 25 should do it. And that's it, you're done here. So save your altered frame and exit the photo editor. Now maximize your video editor again and import the frame you have just altered. Now for the clever bit. Grab your image and insert it between the split you made in the video. You are effectively inserting an extra frame into the movie. It is of course far too big, so we need to reduce its size to one single frame. Now to make this a bit easier, just zoom the timeline to maximum. Then grab the right hand edge of the image and drag it down to the smallest size that it will go to. There you go. If you now run that section of the clip, you will get the full effect of the doctored frame in sequence. And the addition of a gunshot sound effect completes the illusion. And it's a case of rinse and repeat for each gunshot in your movie. And now, here's the finished article.